Let's check out this Jackrabbit special. It's from 1970. It was in the uh, third year of models for the Hot Wheels. It's an original red line. As you can tell by looking in the center, it's not a reproduction. This is the uh, original red lines. They came with a button on the side that you can clip onto your shirt or whatnot. Right here it says California Custom Miniatures, Low Friction Wheel Bearings, Mag Wheels, Exclusive Torsion Bar Suspension. That's because inside it would have a... Let me see if I can squeeze this. And I can't. Uh, it gave the wheels some suspension. Pretty good. Now, um, back then, they were under a dollar. Look, 88 cents. Mattel did a pretty good job. Look, pennies. I, they don't think they saw Hot Wheels anymore. But uh, Mattel did a good job of keeping Hot Wheels under a dollar for over 40 years. Let's see, another thing to talk about, the blister pack. See, they got a hole punch. Nowadays, they have the uh, hang tag to where you hook it on a peg. Back then, you put, you hung it on the peg itself. Let's check out the back of the package. I love the, uh, we call this the meatball flame logo because it's got, it's got a meatball for the Mattel symbol. And then there's the flame. I'll go ahead and let you read uh, some of that. Here's some of the other models that were out. Some of these are, uh, mm, are there any first years? Yeah, I see some first year too. Now here you see it says, do not oil wheels and axles. What happens if you put uh, three in one oil or something on the parts? What happens is that oil just kind of starts to gather dust and it messes up your cars. Ed Roth. The reason why they have Ed Roth here, that must mean that the, uh, uh, was a Hot Heap or beat, Beatnik Bandit? It must be on, yes, Beatnik Bandit. So they had to put the copyright here because it was one of the, I'm pretty sure that's an Ed Roth car right there. And down in the corner you see 1969 Mattel. That's when the model was copyrighted. Now this model here. That's when it was copyrighted, but it, it was actually a 1970 release. And looking at the bottom, it'll probably say, yeah, 1969 on the bottom. Oh, he's going to get, I better not, he's going to get flipped upside down in the blister. And uh, now this model here, actually, they had a Jack in the Box special release the same year. I guess it was available with purchase or something. Let me go ahead and show you some pictures that I got off of the web. As you can see here, uh, look at Jack. Jack's changed a lot in 40 years. Uh, he don't look the same anymore, that's for sure. Now the uh, model itself was included in a baggie. And the decal sh slip was stapled outside. Here's a better look at the decal sheet. And uh, here's a real good look at the uh, big decal sheet, or the decal sheet, I should say. It's a big picture. Now, those pictures were uh, Paul Provencher's pictures. Uh, now, John Cook, people know him as Hydraulic Jack. Let me show three pictures that he has on the Internet. It shows the uh, stickers actually applied. Now, here you have the Jack Rabbit special I showed you. In 2004, Mattel actually came up with the Fatbacks. And one of them was the Jack Nabbit special with the N, not an R. So they kind of uh, made a little nod, a little nod to the original Jack Rabbit special. Now instead of having the uh, opening, oh yeah, it has opening. See how it opens in the back? It does have opening features. And the, uh, I guess there might be an engine in there. Here they just put, the, uh, put a blown engine on the back. Has the uh, blue stripe to make a nice, uh, nice little uh, tribute. Jack Nabbit, Jack Rabbit, pretty cool. Now the uh, fat backs are gone. I don't think we're gonna ever see the fat backs anymore. They didn't fit on the track, and people really didn't li like them. They hung on the pegs forever. Now the uh, Jack Rabbit special. He would fit on the track. He's definitely skinny enough. And looking at the uh, rear, looking right here and looking right there, it looks like he'd have enough curve to make through the loops and stuff. Don't you think? I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, 
it's nice to collect these things. This guy back then, when we were kids, you know, we liked to open this stuff and play with them. They were meant for uh, they were meant for going through the loops and playing on the track. There you can see a good look at the uh, button. Jack Rabbit Special Hot Wheels. I'm pretty sure that most of the time the button coincided with the card, but uh, I guess sometimes you could have a mistake. So there you go. Jack Rabbit Special. Just oh wait a second. I got a track set up right now. What do you think? Should we? Should we? Here we go. My first Race Grooves Red Line Blister Pack opening video. And he's going to go right from the blister to the trek. I'll get my button later. We'll check that out later. Just keep them in here. Let's go, Bubba! We got to do some uh, racing. We got to see if you can make it through the loop. Got to keep them on camera so this way you guys know I'm not pulling a switcheroo. Now I don't know if he works in the booster. But for the loop, I'll send them through the loop. Sure, why not? You ready? Ready? Here we go. Hey, hey, wait a second. Uh-oh, I almost forgot. Wait a second, somebody's on the track. What's this doing here? Excuse me. Here we go. Oh, so now that I showed them going straight from the blister to the track, I'll try one more time. Now I got my arm switched around. And then after this, I'll get some more shots of him going through the loop. Maybe he just had a bad shot. Nah, he just doesn't quite. He comes, oh, maybe I have a nick. Let's see. Let's go ahead and flare this out. Flare this out. Pinch this in. Pinch this in. Okay, Jack. Here we go. Racing red lines. That's what they were meant for. Yeah, sure, fun to collect, but you know. There you go, success. Now let's go ahead and check out that uh, rear hatch. Let's see what he has inside. Hold on. Here we go. Let's see. Let's check out the suspension. Yeah, I got some suspension. You can do a search on YouTube for race grooves. Uh, now I forgot the name of the series. Give me a second. The Inside Story. Do a search for Inside Story Red Lines. And you'll you'll get to see my feature on the uh, bent suspension. Well, his, uh, this doesn't open very much. I don't want to force it. But let's see if we can see an engine in there. Yeah, it looks like a little engine. Beep, beep. There you go. Jackrabbit special. Have fun with your cars. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.